I think this year, when you look at someone that's played at a consistently high level, uh, and someone's had that ability to really break open games at, at key moments, I don't think you can go go past Patrick Dangerfield. Paddy will probably win it, uh, but you know, Buddy's year's been been pretty serious as well. So um, look, whoever wins it, there's probably four or five guys that could justifiably walk out of there there with the award and, and would be um, very worthy winners. Well, I've rarely seen a player have as good a season, as consistent a season as Patrick Dangerfield, so he clearly is going to be hard to beat. It was a brilliant uh, year given the challenges of changing clubs. Max Gorn, uh, I think, has been phenomenal this year. He really has dominated in his area and uh, set a huge challenge for himself now to better that year as uh, he tries to lift the Demons into the finals. You've had the key forwards. Josh Kennedy's been uh, a star, like Tom Lynch's year. Buddy's been Buddy. And the Swans have got that quartet of midfielders. Luke Parker has been brilliant. Hanabry and Josh Kennedy, I think, uh, is just about ready to win one of these massive awards. There's been great players all around the competition, but uh, they stand out the most.